everyone in this video i'll be going over how to install our lottie animations into our swift ui application so to get started we're going to click the create a new xcode project and then it's going to be an ios app i'm going to call it lottie animation app and hit next oh wait hold on i'm using the storyboard i should be using swift ui and the swift ui life cycle there and I'm gonna hit create. Okay, first first step is to um, integrate our Lottie animation package. So you're going to want to pull up terminal and get to the directory of this project. So you want to press CD and drag our directory here, um, our path. Hit next. So what we want to do here is to use um, CocoaPods to install our Lottie animations. So to do that, we want to set um, pod init. So it's going to generate a pod file for us. And inside that pod file, should be here. Inside that pod file, we want to type in the word pod. Make sure the pod is not capitalized. Sometimes do that on purpose, I don't know why, but Lottie iOS and iOS. Okay, and click save. I think it auto automatically saves, but just to make sure, command S for the sake of it. Okay, close. you can now close the pod file now, and you can just hit... Oh, before we hit pod install, we have to close our Xcode project. So, pod install. And the reason that we're going to do that is because, oh my god, okay. So Lottie Animations is somehow the text editor cop, uh, capitalized the uh, L in Lottie. So to do that again, should work now. Pod install. And there you go. So instead of using our Xcode project, we're now going to open our XC workspace since that is now what we're going to work with. <clears throat> Okay, so this is our XC workspace. Pretty much the same thing as Xcode project, but okay. Anyways, um, you know what? Let's just first try to build it to see if it works or not. So just hit Command R. Make sure everything works so that we can get started right away. Okay, it looks like everything works now. So that's all good. So the first thing that we want to do is to you can go to Safari and browse your browse the Lottie animation that you want to use. So go to their website, Lottie Animations. Um here. And I'm gonna log in with my own account. Okay, once I'm in, I can actually browse different designs from the Lottie file community. So we can go to discover and go to free animations. And over here we can choose any animation that we like that looks very good to use in our application. For example, if we're using if we're doing a map kit application, integrating the maps in our application, we can use this um we can use this one. Maybe we could use this um, this pin as our MK annotation somehow in our MapKit application. But anyways, for the sake of for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use this animation. So to integrate this animation, this particular animation into our Swift UI application, we want to download this as a JSON. So to do that, we have to go to the top and go to downloads and click the first option, Lottie JSON. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, we can use it now. Okay, so to use it in our application, let's go back here. We have to go to where that animation is. So I assume it's in downloads, and here it is. This one, I'm gonna drag it into our Xcode workspace. Make sure to copy items if needed and hit finish. 
Okay, so this is all the vector and graphics, everything. You don't need to worry about this too much since Lottie animation package would deal with it for us. So to get started with um, integrating Lottie into our app, we have to create a new file. So command N. It's going to be a, just a regular Swift file. And I'm going to call this Lottie animation view. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Should be big enough for this tutorial. Okay. So we want to make sure that we can actually import Lottie. Okay, there we go. And since Lottie animation is currently only supporting only like the UI kit area. So I'm going to use the UI view rep representable for this. So I'm going to call this a struct Lottie animation view. And it's going to conform to UIV representable. And I'm to make sure I import Swift UI, of course. There you go. And we're going to say make UI view. And in that block, we want to make context a UI representable context. And it's going to be our Lottie animation view. There you go. Okay, so in our code section, um, you know what, let's first make a update UI view, even though we're not going to use it, but um, UI view representable requires you to have this block of code. Okay, anyways, in here, we want to actually get our animation from here, the JSON file, and play the animation. So to do that, we want to first set our view. Our view coordinates to dot zero, so center it in the <clears throat> in the middle of the screen, and then initialize our animation view. Animation view that is provided by our package, and we're gonna grab the animation. So our animation is called and okay animation dot named, and what is it called? It's called Six eight, okay, whatever. Six six eight zero oh, three five dash hyphen heart. Okay, so that should work. And next up, we're gonna use this animation view by saying animation view dot animation, and we can set it to our animation. There we go. And this is where it gets pretty interesting. You can actually like manipulate the animation. Using, for example, you can anim uh, you can manipulate the loop mode or the content mode, etc., etc., or the speed. So animation, we're gonna set the content mode to the scale to aspect to fit. And for our loop mode, um, loop mode. Uh, let's see. Let's just play it once. Or, ah, it's okay. I'm gonna repeat it. So I'll repeat, like, I don't know, five times. Five times? Five? Okay. And we're gonna actually play the animation now. So, animation view that play. There you go. And I think there's some layout constraints problem with this, according to design, design code website anyways um you have to say animation view dot translate translates auto resizing mask into constraints is false and you have to add the view you know you have to add the sub view to the main view so the sub view is animation view and we're gonna add it to the main view next up is layout NSL constraints dot activate activate. I'm just gonna copy this full code here because it's gonna take a long time copying it over. Okay, here. So this is the code you want to put to make sure that it doesn't go out of con doesn't go out of constraint. And lastly, we have to return our view, which is our animation view. 
and we don't have to do anything in our update UI view block since it's not really needed. Okay, so this is all set. Now let's try to put this in content view. Let's see, what is it called? Lottie animation view. And let's just run it for now, see what happens. Cool, so now we have this, I don't know, jumping pin, map pin, which is pretty cool. So it's gonna repeat five times and this is actually content mode to scale aspect to fit. So we can actually go beyond this and we can set the speed or whatnot. So to find its properties and stuff, we can actually just animation dot and there's a lot of different things that you can play with. For example, you can get a certain frame of the animation and display that. Um, for this, for right now, I'm gonna say animation speed. I'm, I'm gonna set it to 0.5. This is just basically manipulating our animation. So let's run it and see. So it goes much slower here, as you can see. So to actually, hmm. One last thing to note here is that animation, our Lottie animation, it has a background that is pretty transparent. That means if you put a background, for example, if you want to say, if you want to set a background, background, and we want to set a color to like, I don't know, red, no, green. And if we just do edges, ignore all, set to all. Yeah, if we do that, you can see that the animation part, you can actually see through the green background. So basically like this. So even the little circle inside our map pin also becomes green. So I guess this whole animation, only the red part and the shadow part is not transparent. Yeah, so anyways, that sums up the video, the basics of using Lottie animations. There's definitely a lot of use cases, and I would really encourage you to explore all the different properties of what animation view has, since there's actually a lot that you can play with. So anyways, I'm gonna sum up my video now, and I'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe.